And so we called her and, you know, we reached out that same day and we did a bunch of things and, you know, we never reached her. And we found out a few weeks later that part of why we never reached her was that she was already dead. And, oh, uh, and it, yeah. And, and so we were sitting there, I mean, our team, we have this really awesome team that really care and are really working hard and it was devastating. And, we, and so we took that and we dug into it instead of saying, oh, well, you know, we did the best we could and she didn't pick up her phone. It was like, you know, the system has to change to meet people where they're at. Like her and, not picking um, up her phone, like her, her not picking up her phone, phone is quite possibly a symptom of, of the disorder she's trying to seek help for, you know, yeah. and, and, yeah, and quite exactly. often that is, that is what happens is that when, when we display these either, either drug seeking or, or whatever toxic behaviors, oftentimes they are a result of, of something deeper, right? But we're judged at surface level instead of seeing them as symptomatic. Is that yeah, accurate? For sure. Yeah, for, for sure. And, and in fact, there are things that we can do, you know, that we traditionally do that we can do better that actually will make our jobs easier too. So, you know, with, with that case, we looked at it and we realized she died before we could have ever got her into telehealth. And we realized that, you know, telehealth was a barrier. So as much as it, it was a enabler for us to get into lots of communities and we, we serve every single community in Alberta, um, the fact of the matter is, is that, you know, some people need care right now, this minute. And so we worked with Alberta Health Services and with the College of Physicians and Surgeons because we have to follow the rules and we have to, you know, do things that, you know, within the regulations, none of us want to lose our, our licenses and things like that. Mm -hmm. But uh, we worked with them and we developed, uh, you know, a strategy for doing same day medication starts. And so in Alberta today, a person can call a toll free number anywhere in Alberta from any little hamlet to town to village to city. And they can speak with a, a professional and start an intake and speak with a prescriber and get started on OAT the same day that they call right away. And in and so in that in the case of that young woman who passed, the the fact of the matter is today we'd do better. And I, I wish she were here. I wish I wish we'd have done better for her. Mm -hmm. um, but we we learn from that. And uh, so today her addiction counselor, when she's there in the office, baby could just pick up the phone and immediately connect her with help. And before yeah. she's even walking out of the, the office of that addiction counselor, she's got a prescription at the pharmacy most convenient to her so that she can get going. Donna's got something to say. Uh, just a question, Nathaniel. Uh, how long was this process? Like um, the way that you describe it, it sounds like it happened relatively quickly. So aside from like how long did it take, um, how easily would it be replicated in other provinces 